Guys, we bought a gaming PC off of Amazon. It has no reviews, so we gotta be the first ones to do it. We are absolutely terrified. This is from a brand we're very familiar with, but does it have any redeeming qualities? Because on paper, it does not look like a good buy. But before we dive into today's video, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of your unactivated Windows install on your gaming PC? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered. GVG Mall is an online marketplace to gain access to really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, as we mentioned, Windows 10 licenses. It is incredibly easy to get your Windows 10 or 11 activation key from GVG Mall. Just use code TB20 to get a special discount, and then all you have to do is take that code, put it into Windows, and boom, you have an activated Windows copy. We have been working with GVG Mall for several years now, and we love the reliability of all the products they have to offer, so be sure to check the link in the description down below. Use code TB20 to save on your next purchase of a Windows key or other product from GVG Mall. So guys, every computer company seems to have their goods and bads, and this one, I'm I'm just kind of concerned because I don't see a whole lot of good in it so far, but we'll only know if we unbox it. This is from Alarco, a company that has been around for a while. We've been reviewing these Amazon PCs for years now, and they were one of the first ones on Amazon selling these RGB PCs with GTX 650s and second gen <laughs> i5s for like $500 during peak shortages. And back then they had an excuse, but this PC at a very similar price point I don't know if we could justify the price, but we're gonna open it up and see, we'll give it a fair review. It's crazy, I already see beakers. <laughs> it's crazy because we, we buy so many computers like this on Amazon, eBay, Newegg, whatever for review that sometimes we don't really deep dive into like the reviews and the description. And you know, Matt bought this thing RX 580. He's like, oh, Alarco, do you guys have a 580 PC now? That's awesome. You know, for 400 something dollars, a 580 PC that's fully built with a warranty, maybe that's not too bad. But the big caveat is it literally says Intel processor and we're scared from what <laughs> CPU it actually has. It has a Pentium in it. A Pentium Gold processor to be specific. It is a Pentium Gold G5400, which we're in two core. Is that a two core four thread? I think that's a two core four thread. I think. Or I it's hope. just like a two two or four four. I hope, or we're going backwards here because we went from, I mean, second gen i5s are very old, but if we're going backwards to just dual cores, that's gonna be rough. But I'm assuming it's a two core four thread because most yeah. of those golds were two core four threads. Well, remember those golds? We actually did some videos in these back in the day because um, this would have been, it's funny because this is when they were new back in like six seven gen territory they had some kind of cool redeeming factors like they were overclockable yes. at least a lot of them were yeah. and you could overclock them really high to where they were actually like halfway decent for the 50 60 dollars you had to spend at the time but how and why they're using them now i i don't know it's a weird choice normally i again we've seen so many pre-builds with like second third fourth gen i5s or i7s older intel cpus but i've not seen a pre-build company go the pentium route and they still have the exact same graphic this has been around the same <laughs> since the last one we bought it's the same settings these aren't really even valid anymore because i don't think any of these options are there anymore in fortnite this is old fortnite yeah and, and to be fair i mean this pc didn't have any reviews so for all we know maybe they're not selling much of them so it doesn't really matter uh we might be their, their first customer in a while for all we know but i mean part of what we do here is obviously benchmark it we got a game because for all we know maybe this pentium's not that bad maybe they know something that we don't that it's actually good pairing uh and obviously we have to check the build quality because of course this is sort of like a lot of money on paper for these kind of specs yeah when we're in the era of stg of bronze selling computers for 300 dollars with at least like 580s or 1660s or um those office pcs with rgb added to it and they deliver much more value like rtx 2060s and we're talking around the same price point we gotta figure out why a custom built computer with a 580, which is a 580, but I'm already seeing a glaring issue on the sticker on the graphics card, uh -oh. and a Pentium processor. We just gotta see what they're doing here. How is this making sense? So one thing, we'll have to go back and look again. The title does not say RX 580 2048. Because it is an eight gig 580, I am already thinking it's not a real 580. I'm thinking it's a 2048, which is basically a 578 gig. Which there's nothing wrong with those cards. It's just not advertising it yes. actually being there. And I will say, I am triple checking this Amazon listing right now. The title says video card RX 580 8 gig, which for someone who knows would think, oh, that's an RX 580. And then you scroll down to the description where it showed the Pentium processor and it still says video card RX 580 8 gig. And do you see what the sticker says? <laughs> it's definitely a 2048, as you can see right here. And it's a definitely a 
mostly like no name brand one from what I can tell. I don't see any labeling on it. Now, one thing I am noticing that's kind of interesting, almost like everything in this is B Gears branded. Um, we'll have to see what the power supply is, but we have B Gears fans inside of the B Gears case. We have a B Gears Intel stock cooler. Um, the RAM is golden memory. <laughs> golden it's, memory? Yeah, it's a single stick of... Really? Is it 16 gigs or do you know? Uh, I believe it was 16 gigs. Okay, yeah, so single stick of 16 gigs. Build quality, not bad. I mean, cable management's not amazing. Like they definitely could have, I mean, literally look at this. I can hide that. Yeah, they definitely could have cable managed a little better. They could have ran this cable through here with the CPU. Same went down here, if Jonah can see that. Definitely a little bit of cable mess in there. I mean, but it's at least a nice case. It has tempered side glass and everything, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open the back of this, because I want to know what power... Oh, is that a PV? Is that Montec or Pivia? Oh, or is it Gondius? Is it none of the above? It's definitely a familiar logo. That looks like I think. It might be like their Captain series? Yeah. I'm not super that. familiar. Am I able to see it on the side? Can you tell? Oh, yeah, I can what? almost see it. We have a light. Yeah, so we can shine bright like a diamond. Spirit I don't know if we seven. want to look that up. 700 watt, doesn't look like it's rated. It could be it could be white. So we think it's a PVA, a PVA Spirit. Spirit 7. Yep, so it's a 700 watt power supply. <laughs> what line is that from? Is that, oh, is it There's, Spirit yeah, line? so uh, a PVA has their SP700 or Spirit ATX power supply. I will say it's a 700 watt power supply with no ratings Very and they sell overkill. them for $36 on Amazon right now. You might as well just get a 500 watt, like 80 plus bronze, you know what I mean? Like yeah. something like that. Yeah, well, I mean, here, the, here on the channel, we are ones who preach like, hey, all these power supplies are not bad. They have a purpose, yeah. but definitely with 700 watts, you could get a better value lower wattage power supply for this build. Yeah, but I mean, cable management, build quality, nothing looks glaringly bad. I mean, it's a decent little well put together build. Now the motherboard, because it's not really an OEM, but I'm trying to figure out if it's like a cheap, it doesn't look like a cheap aftermarket either. I don't know. It's like all black though. So I don't see, it could be, it looks very, very new. We'll show Jonah the motherboard It does look again. new. So yeah, it could just be like a rebrand. It just, it, whoever did it didn't do a bad job for sure. Like it doesn't look like one of those AliExpress boards or anything, but cheaper board and um, what generation? So what is this, a G5400? Yeah, so G5400, uh, just for an idea, this processor back in 2018, when it was released, was $64. <laughs> $64 CPU. Um, it is a two core four thread. It is 14 nanometer. And I believe, we'll see what generation would this have been? 2018, it's DDR4. So we got 2400 oh, megahertz. That's... So it's at least six to seventh gen. Is it seventh or eighth though? Um, it's, it, it's in that generation as uh, eighth gen. Eighth gen. So, so it's eighth gen, yeah. So this okay. is actually, I think this, I think we have old videos on this CPU like yes. when it was new and relevant. That's just crazy. I guess just plug it up because I mean, at the end of the day, I know why this thing is in existence. It's because of the RGB. Because mm -hmm. like, look how many fans are in this thing. I will say, I, I like the case. The case is pretty cool. Case is nice. I mean, the, and like the build quality is not bad. I just, it's like, how much money do they really save? So eighth gen, we see all these 8400s and 8500s. Mm -hmm. Those are i5s, four core, or are those four, are those six core six thread or? Well, they're six core six thread yeah. now, yeah. And so those are like actually really good. And I feel like, could they not get those in bulk for just a little bit more? Yeah, there's just some spots where like, there definitely should have been some more effort, honestly. Because um, that, that would make the build worth it almost. Like if it had an eight gen i5 or oh, yeah. i7, of course, I mean, it even has a silicon power 512 gig SSD. So it's actually like a fairly name brand SSD that's NVMe. It's just weird choices there, but hey, we're all white right now. The button doesn't do anything. Yeah, that's- I think it had a it remote. It did have a remote. Um, what to see, what to see in here? White does look bad, but you know. nice. I mean, these fans are really nice for them being budget though. It, yeah, it's just, they are nice. I like them. Um, it's one thing these cheap companies have gotten so good at is, I mean, this, like years ago, this would have only been available with like Lee and Lee or NZXT or like, you'd have had to spend like $500 in a case and fans to look like this. Well, the fans are exhaust by the way, but with this build, <laughs> I don't think it really matters. Um, the 580 doesn't run very hot. Do you know, do you notice this? They put a GPU, a, a GPU support bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's the effort, man. Oh, they they my put in Lord. some effort, I'm telling you. They put, they put a lot of effort into the wrong areas. I feel like that's the best way to put it. Like being able to find the RGB wave mode. Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess I appreciate all the modes, B gears, but sheesh. Yeah, that one's not bad. It's it's I not like that one. it's not the usual RGB ring mode we like, but it does it does look pretty good. So we're gonna settle with that for now. So I guess I I'm curious, what can this Pinium do with a 580? I think in esports titles it's probably gonna be okay, but I, it's been a while since I've tested a dual core processor. Yeah, and I don't know how it's gonna run like newer games. Like I mean, Overwatch 2, a game like that probably will run fine. Uh, but maybe it's gonna be stuttery. I don't know. It might have trouble in those esports because they do usually rely on the CPU for you know lower settings. So we might have to run like actually medium settings to get a good stable build, basically. So let's go install some games and see what it can do. 
All right, guys, we're playing some Overwatch 2, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to show you guys the settings in just a second uh, once I die, which will inevitably be very quick with how starry it is. I'm just glad I'm playing a tank. Imagine trying to, like, shoot people right now or something like that. Yeah, you can be very accurate. It is on medium mm. settings, though. We'll show you guys. Yeah, I went down to medium, which, with a 580, it should have no problem. God. It's it's clearly that CPU. Yeah, I mean, that CPU is just horrible for this thing, dude. Yeah. Like, they, I mean, they shouldn't have even put a 580 with it, honestly. No. I mean, you technically, yeah, could slap in one of those 8th uh, gen CPUs in there, but yeah, I don't know. $400? Do it be worth it, you know? Yeah, do be worth it. There's a certain, certain. Oh god! I got, I got Weaver Orb. Weaver Orb. There's a certain line of like when the RGB computers make sense and when you should just buy a refurbished office computer with a graphics card. That's that's the biggest argument we found here. The line. There, there is a line, and we found it. You can see the problem. Look at the GPU CPU usage right now. It's at like 90% yeah, CPU. Medium to AP. Definitely like zero <laughs> percent. Whoa! Yeah, the bottleneck is like definitely there. I guess it's not that side. Oh. Orb Weaver, quit it, little little Zorby. It's been a while since we've seen like bottleneck, like especially this from is, a company. This you is, know? Yeah, this is pretty bad. Think. Oh, oh. oh, look at these textures. You're loading in those in. textures. They're trying. A Ryan. Okay. Ryan be Ryan. Here we go. <laughs> I just let, dude. This guy pulls me back and like I haven't even taken damage yet. He's like, I must save you. He, he really protects me. I'm taking. Oh man. no. He's a smart rhino. I'll give him that. I'm oh. farming damage, yes. cuz. Mm. <sighs> I'll wait for you. Shall we hold them in spawn, gentlemen? Solo, old, solo. Old. <laughs> I just used my ult. Oh, you did? I, yeah, oh, I used no. It and, yep. Yeah! Taking this guy. Wait. What? I'm getting in. I'm about to dive in. Y'all can't stop me. Y'all can't stop me. <laughs> ah, they didn't touch. They didn't touch. That was a pretty easy victory. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Um, the PC, yeah, Pinium, once again, it's just like a Y situation. I even thought Overwatch was going to run good because uh, it will on like anything, even like first gen I series, but this Pinium just isn't it these days. Like I said, fun Rhine duel. Yeah, it was, it was very fun. <laughs> Let's move on to CS2. All right, so we made it in to <laughs> CS2. Why is this feeling like that mini PC though? I was, I forgot that this wasn't the mini PC. It feels like a mini PC from Timu we just tested. <laughs> um, so here are the settings. Which had an APU. So yeah, APU, we're at uh, 1080p and we are on, oh wait, uh, advanced video, medium settings. And- You know, I almost think this build would perform similar to a 5600G build. It, it, it's pretty crazy. Oh, <laughs> I, I got him. But yeah, this is just another example. Um, we'll obviously run some demanding games that I guess in theory, we could play a game that would really stress the GPU more than the CPU and maybe it'll give you a better experience because these are two pretty like rough examples of games that do use the CPU more than the GPU. But um, yeah, I just killed what? Yeah, not even getting 60. With stutters. Okay. Yeah, all right. Oh, and then I just get killed, wow. Oh, wow, zero. Uh-oh. Just happened. I'm back though. That was weird. Back to it, I'm back. I'm back on it, I'm back on it. Sounds, sounds all right. Right in the back, he wasn't even ready for it. Oh, and oh. that guy was for it. But hey, not great. I mean, I don't even have to say anything. I can show you guys the gameplay and say absolutely nothing, and you can know that this is uh, not a great experience. So what we'll do is get some games like we normally do, some really demanding AAA titles that will try to stress the GPU a little bit, but we're still probably gonna deal with this CPU bottleneck, and uh, just kind of talk about this PC as a whole, because I feel like there's a lot of areas where it could be optimized better, and it's just kind of, par for the course of this brand. It's just the same stuff that's happened before. So I was hoping for better, but we kind of got what we should have expected we were gonna get. <laughs> Let's do it. 
All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this gaming PC, and yeah, it's definitely not great exactly as we thought. This Pentium just does not hold up these days, especially with a GPU like this one. Now, the only really redeeming qualities, I guess, of this computer is it is on a newer platform, so in theory, it is more upgradable, but people buying these PCs at this price point are most likely not gonna wanna deal with that, and considering you're gonna have to upgrade it like right away to get a very good gaming experience, I just don't think it's a good buy. It would've been much better being in an office computer or just a cheaper case um, with a well, more relevant CPU, something that isn't actually a quad core or an i7 processor. And we've seen a lot of those at this price point. So let us know what you think of this PC down below. Do you think it's a good buy? Are we wrong about it? Or is it just another example of a PC you might want to avoid? So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's little review. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So this PC right here will be very discounted at PCBros.Tech and it'll come with a new one year warranty. PCBros.Tech, we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. If you use code TOSTYBROS to uncheck out, you'll save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Bye bye